Hello everyone, I am Michaela Kathleen and today I have an unboxing video. I recently got a month to month subscription of Bibliophilic Excursions and I plan on doing just two months. This is a fairly expensive box and it was even more than I expected because the shipping was quite a lot. But I'm definitely very excited. These boxes do have a theme if you get the signature collection, which is what I went with. You get two books, a nonfiction and a fiction book that are both about the same country. And then you also get all sorts of little goodies from that country. And I think this one leans a lot towards like snack items and stuff, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see when I unbox it. And I'll say it's quite the hefty boy. I think partly because there's two books in there, but I think also it seems like it's got to be filled to the rim with stuff. So I am pretty excited. What's up here? Oh, and I have no idea what my country is for this box. So that is also going to be a surprise. Ooh, got some nice wrapping paper. This is kind of impressive. They have a card with my name on it. <laughs> and a little thank you sticker, very cute. Very pretty card. Oh, there's something in it. Oh, okay. So this is gonna tell me about the country that it comes from. Okay, Sawu Bona. I very much apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I assume it means greetings or something from the country that it's from. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a lot of stuff I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, Igia Thokoza. I am pretty sure that in G, the N is usually silence. <laughs> so, uh, Gia Thakosa for taking this excursion with us. I'm assuming that's thank you. Did you know Archbis blah, blah, blah. Archbishop Desmond Tutu coined the term Rainbow Nation to inspire unity amongst cultural diversity in the country after apartheid? I'm assuming we are in South Africa here. Speaking of diversity, Table Mountain, one of the new seven wonders of nature, ooh, I'll have to look that up, is home to 2,200 species of plants and 1,470 of flora. Hamba Kali, the team at Bibliophilic Excursions. This is a very pretty card. I already am liking how personalized all this is. And it came with a little note inside the card. Okay, so it's a little page about South Africa with some photos and everything. Welcome to South Africa, unity in diversity. South Africa, this is kind of long, <laughs> just fair warning. Maybe I'll put some timestamps down below of when different things happen if you don't want to hear all this. Although I think it's going to be very interesting information. South Africa, the southernmost country on the African continent, renowned for its varied topography, great natural beauty and cultural diversity, all of which have made the country a favored destination for travelers since the legal ending of apartheid, Africans' apartness or racial separation in 1994. This month, we have some very special book selections for your enjoyment. The fiction book is Cry the Beloved Country by Alan Patton, first published in 1948. Ooh, older books. In a quest to save his own broken family, a rural minister travels through Johannesburg only to discover inequities that threaten the future of the entire country. Although the story examines the lives of one unique family, the narrative is truly about a country struggling to retain the tribal roots while friction causes her citizens. The book's popularity is evident in the numerous film and stage adaptions, including a 1995 motion picture starring James Earl Jones and Richard Harris. Ooh, I like getting some movie rep recommendations. Parton was a well-known anti-apartheid, is it his name Alan Patton or Alan Parton? <laughs> anti-apartheid activists and South African officials even banned Cry the Beloved Country for being too politically dangerous for advancing multicultural ideas. The nonfiction selection for the month is Born a Crime. Ooh, okay, so it's not an older book in the box. It's a new book and they're just talking about an older book here. So nice little book recommendation situation going on. So uh, 
Nonfiction selection for this month is Born a Crime by The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. I'm very excited for that. I like Trevor Noah. I love his stand-up. Um, Noah, born to a mixed-race household, discusses his childhood in both apartheid South Africa and post-apartheid South Africa. Noah brings his distinctive comical voice to this very personal memoir. The bestseller and book of the year has been adapted into a major film starring Lupita Nyong'o as Noah's mother. I did not know that. As always, we've selected some amazing goods to bring South Africa straight to your doorstep. We've included several fair trade brass items handmade by, woven, by women in Cape Town, including a hand-casted letter opener, bottle opener, and keychain. Okay, for my next one, I might unbox and then read the letter so that I don't get the spoilers on the gifts. <laughs> and keychain. We've also included rub rub rubos tea? <laughs> made from an herb indigenous only to the mountains, mountainous regions north of Cape Town and known locally as a miracle herb rich with antioxidants. Rubos tea is used in the Western world as an herbal alternative to caffeine. What's a book without a cup of tea? Your tea would certainly be lonely without snacks, so we've included a sauce and spice grinder to add the delectable tastes of South Africa to your favorite veggies and meats. Happy reading the team at Bibliophilic Excursions. Okay, so maybe the first book was my fiction book, and the Daily Show book is my nonfiction. Have our first gift here. Oh, oh my lordy. Have this elephant bottle opener, it looks like. A uh, beautiful keychain. Ah. And the letter opener, giraffe letter opener. These are hefty, very high quality, and very cool looking. I like it a lot. And then here's the tea, Hardy and Son Organic Rubos, which again, I'm not super into tea. I've talked about this on other unboxing videos, so, but I always like to give it a try just in case. <laughs> And then probably uh, would give the rest maybe to my dad, and he can make it into iced tea. <laughs> okay, Akuba Africa, Taste of Africa, Peri Peri Mombasa, chili sauce. Certainly, again, I will try this. I'm not super into spicy things. I don't know how spicy this is going to be, but I'm certainly willing to try it. <laughs> this is all wrapped really well. Fire spice, that sounds spicy. <laughs> Built-in grinder. Hey, I am excited to try all of these. I don't know how well I'll handle the spice, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, and then, yes, the Alan Patton. Cry the Beloved Country. An immediate worldwide bestseller, when it was published in 1948, Alan Patton's impassioned novel about a black man's country under white man's law is a work of searing beauty. Cry the Beloved Country is the deeply moving story of the Zulu pastor Stephen Kumalo and his son Absalom, set against the background of a land and a people riven by racial injustice. Remarkable for its lyricism, unforgettable, unforgettable for character and incident, Cry the Beloved Country is a classic work of love and hope, courage and endurance, born of the dignity of man. Alan Patton was one of South Africa's greatest writers. His other works include Too Late, The Fallerope, Awe, but your land is beautiful, and a collection of short stories, Tales from a Troubled Land. He died in South, Af South Africa in 1988. It is labeled the most famous and important novel in South Africa's history. I'm excited to read this. I've never heard of it. And yeah, moving on to the next book, which of course is Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. So yes, very exciting. Two fairly small paperbacks, but very exciting. Two books in one box is always fun. Ooh. Oh, they leave a little note inside the book. Oh, and there's a bookmark. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go. Dr. Seuss, a cute little bookmark. So since this box, unlike the Once Upon a Book Club box, which I have done videos for, does not come with gifts that you open on like certain page numbers, which is something that's unique to the Once Upon a Book Club box. Um, but since the gifts don't, have to wait. I don't have to wait to open them. I don't think I will 
super prioritize these books like I did for Once Upon a Book Club. It'll probably be quite some time before I get around to them. I have a very long TBR, but certainly when I do read them, I will talk about them in my monthly wrap up. And I'll try to remember to link this video when when that time comes. But yeah, this was definitely a very exciting first box. I'm excited for next month, month's box. I went into this planning to only do two months, and I think I'm going to stick with that based on this first box. I'm not one to do subscription boxes for an extended amount of time, and this one is rather expensive with pretty high shipping costs. But definitely the gifts here are high quality, even if there is a lot of food items that I don't think are going to be to my taste. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and definitely go check out my other unboxing videos that I have done for the Once Upon a Book Club box. Thanks for watching. Remember, words matter.